Alright, so it seems like people like the idea of me doing some Android screencasts, so that's what we're going to do. And the first thing you want to learn about any uh, operating system is how to install stuff. And I know you can use the Google Play Store and all that, but we're going to use uh, an open source one. And this one's called F-Droid. Basically, it's a package manager. Think of it like if you ever use a Debian-based distribution, uh, think of it like Synaptic, right? But this one's for Android and mainly all the applications in there are uh, free and open source. Some of them are in the gray area, but uh, for the most part, uh, it's open source, all right? So how do you install this? Before you install anything uh, on here, you have to enable, um, what was it, the unknown sources because we're installing from uh, an external, you know, thing, and that's like a security thing. So that's what we're gonna do. Go to your settings and go down to security here right and make sure you have this thing checked it says uh, unknown sources check that box and it allow us to in install uh, external apk files so that's what we're going to do here get out of that and after that just head over to um, the website let's open a browser in here right and just go to um what is it called f-droid.org here and you can you know download the file here where it says you know click here or whatever or if you have like a, a camera and a, a barcode scanner you can use this qr code and you can download uh, with this way if you want so either or just install that sucker uh once you download it though this is how you would install it here let me see go to your file uh, manager and it should be in your downloads right and it should say fdroid.apk uh, here and you click on that sucker and it'll say uh, package installer and you say uh, you know and then you install it whatever that'll be it for that now after you install it um, let's go back here so they give you this icon this is fdroid and basically is your package manager and the thing that's different from this one and, and the uh, google uh, play store is that I don't know I always hit the Google Play Store they say it's free and they have like a whole bunch of fucking ads in them some of them are like scam uh, applications or it's false advertisement uh, so I really hate those things and uh, I just start using this more and more often um, so that's it right anyways explain what you can do in here so if you ever use uh, Synaptic uh, package manager Pretty much, if you have that idea down, then uh, you understand this uh, easily. Or if you use any distributions and you know how to use the package manager, you pretty much understand how this works here. Okay. But uh, here's some options I will recommend you do. You go in here, top here, and go to preference. Because by default, they only show you the uh, completely free and open source software, right? But if you want to see all your applications, like you normally do if you ever use Synaptic and you have show all files. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to show everything. And right now they show you, um, they call these anti-features. Like features that are kind of like in the gray area, like advertisement. Uh, some of them track you. Uh, some add-ons and um, what is this? Uh, some of the network surfaces. And even some dependencies that requires non-free apps. So it's kind of like, you know, if you're on a distribution and you install mp3 codecs right those are not really free and open source but you still need you know like mp3s and stuff like that so it's in a gray area in my opinion but that's it so check all these suckers and even uh, the ones down here you just check all these suckers that I, that I do and they'll show you like all the applications that you can install using this uh, package manager um, so that's it for that let's go back here now in here, if you want to search for something, let's say we do a search here. Click on the search button here, and let's say we search for DuckDuckGo, right? And here we go, this one. Uh, so you click on it, and you say, oh, you know what? I read the description, I like it, and now we're going to install it. So click on install top here, and then I'll open this one. It says uh, package installer, and say, yeah. We'll just do, you can always put always, but let's say we just want to see it once. And it says uh, install. Okay, we install it. And that's it. You're done. Right? You have it installed. It says uh, 
if you want to run it now, you just you know click on this uh, play button here or this run button here, and it should open. So there you go. This is the Duck Duck Go, and if you want to search for it in here, you just go. Uh, I'll let you here, and there you go. It opens uh, in with your browser here. So that's what that application does, right? What's the other one? Uh, where were we at? Oh yeah, we're in here, the F Droid. So, you know, after that, if you don't like it, you can always uh, go in here and uninstall it if you want. Uh, you can visit their website, whatever, the source code, some issues, whatever. Right, so let's say if you want to uninstall it, you click uninstall, and there you go. And that's it, you don't have it installed anymore, right? So if you want to install it again, you'll have this little install button. Pretty much that's how you do this, okay? Um, as far as, let's go back again. Now, this one is a repository system. So, you know, if anyone's familiar with repositories, you can add in external repositories or aka third-party repositories. So to do that, you click on up top here and you go to manage repositories. I don't have a good example, but if you ever done this before, you know how to do this, right? You just add in your uh, repositories, uh, the address of it. Kind of like uh, the PPA systems if you're on the Ubuntu's, um, or if the old school one, it's just a repository line. So that's it for that. If you want to add in external repositories, I don't think there's a lot of them, so that's why I don't have a good example, but that's how you would do it here. Uh, so that's that. Now, as far as this one, well, they give you the application names over here, right? And over here, uh, I wish they had like this. You know how they have it in uh, Synaptic where you see like if it's installed or not. They don't have that. I wish they had that. But over here in the side, uh, they just have the, the license like GPL3, GPL2, Apache 2, and so on and so forth for uh, the license of the software. Uh, if you want to see like different categories, because right now you have to see like uh, up top here it says what's new. And these are just the newest applications that uh, I guess they updated or whatever. But if you want to see different categories, click on that and you can see that they have it divided by different categories. So you can go, um, what was that, um, maybe science and education, you can go in there. And you see like just those categories only. So you can, you know, use different categories if you like. Uh, over here is just your install tab. So every application that you have installed. And these are the updates that you can do. Um, so that's pretty much it for the program. It's, um, a good way to have, you know, a repository is like a, a Linux distribution and so on and so forth. I wish there was like a real open source uh, Android where you just have like uh, kind of like Linux where you have, a, you know, a, well, we already have a open source uh, repository here. Uh, and maybe like on top of that, put Cyan Engine mod or something like that. And now you have like all the uh, open source software. And it would be like a real Linux distribution, but using Android stuff. Uh, so that would be cool, but anyways, this is uh, FJoy, and it's a package manager, and I'll talk about some of the software I like in here that's also uh, open source and free and all that, and the good thing about this one, which I like, is that they don't have, um, well, I believe you can show, like, you know, you don't have to show ads in here, but I think there's some program that has ads, but yeah, in the Play Store, there's, like, a whole bunch of fucking ads for uh, the free software. Uh, well, it's not really free software. It's more like a uh, freeware and that's what I hate about the Play Store But if you're looking for uh, Free and open source software. This is the one I use. It's just F droid That'd be it for this one